Hello beautiful person, today is the day we are going to learn how to use the debugger in Visual Studio, but not any debugger, we are going to learn how to use the debugger run from Unity Game Engine, but not by just Unity Game Engine, we are going to learn how to properly use the Visual Studio debugger run by Unity Game Engine, which is run and triggered by a unit test. And we are going to fix a real life bug. So here we come. So this is Grammars. It's a small educational game where I try to teach uh, the uh, parts of the speech of the English grammar language. And in this case, the player must select up to three answers from a pool of different words to properly destroy this little alien. So if I click three, phone and car, I will get a performance after I select those. If I click them fast enough and without any mistakes, I get a perfect, a nice or a good. So I have this unit test uh, to calculate performance. And I can notice that every single unit test that is related with the performance, it's actually broken. So I'm going to open the source code of the unit test and take a little look of what's going on. And on here, uh, I can see that game performance good um, does get a delayed game question because good is in between perfect and nice and it means you didn't have any mistakes, but you answer the questions uh, very slowly. So in this case, I'm calling um, a get player with performance uh, public method that will get me the player answer that actually has the performance. The performance only is only set up on the last player answer once you finish the question. And for some reason, this unit test is broken. It says operation not valid to the current state of the object. Okay, thank you, C sharp, I guess. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, if you right click on the unit test, you can actually open the error line. And in this case, uh, yeah, the error is being thrown in get player with performance. And this is a link queue filter. And um, yeah, it looks like it's trying to get the first an player answer in the game question that has some sort of performance setup, something else that is not known. So, okay, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna left click, right click, left click on, on this side, just to add a little uh, breakpoint on this line of code. Now I need to attach Visual Studio to Unity. So when this line of code executes, uh, Visual Studio is gonna stop and it's gonna allow me to look up on some information. So yeah, cool. I'm going to now right click on the unit test and I'm going to run this single unit test. I don't want to run all of them otherwise it's going to just bother me more. And immediately I can see that the line code uh, it did indeed uh, execute. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to open autos which is a way to look up basically the current scope variables values and for now the only local variables that I have available is this, that's okay. The player answers is actually a member of this current object, so that's everything I need. And uh, yeah, I need to look up player answers and I can see that we do indeed have three player answers, which is what I'm expecting as my unit tests are populating. I'm expecting one of them to have a performance as the three answers they were correct and the performance should have been set up in the last one. The first one doesn't have a performance, that's expected. The second one doesn't have a performance, that's also expected. But the third one does also not have a performance. And now, okay, this is strange. Why? So the only place that I can figure out that is uh, erroring out is the moment where I add the player answer into the player answers list. So I'm gonna stop the debugger. Uh, thank you very much for your services. So we're going to take a look on this answer method. The responsibility of this answer method are two. The first one is taking a player answer request, 
crafting a player answer and returning it. And the second one, it's going to be adding to the previous player answers list the actual player answer. So in this occasion, I'm crafting the player answer. I'm setting up the performance and returning it. So I know that the performance should be correctly uh, set up. And by the way, this question performance works because I probably have another unit test. Let's say that. <laughs> um, so the problem is here. Looks like when I am adding this uh, player answers list, the player answer that I reference object that I'm adding does not have the performance. Um, I assume that because I'm, I was adding an object, only the reference of the object would be added, but apparently the property setup does carry on with that reference. Maybe because C -sharp is cloning the object, or maybe it's just because C -sharp, uh, does some weird mechanics with the hit position and does not include any future object mutations. Anyways, um, now that I locate the issue, I'm just gonna move the add to the end of the method right before we return the player, so we know that we don't have all the mutations of player answers. Now I'm gonna run this specific unit test again. Uh, save the file. Compile, compile, compile. And aha, now the unit test does run. I'm gonna run the rest of the unit test. And yeah, there we are. Yay, hooray.